वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ ऋतु डी पटेल लेक्चरर इन केमिस्ट्री एट अप्लाइड साइंस एंड ह्यूमेनिटीज डिपार्टमेंट पारुल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू एक्टिव लर्निंग वीडियो सेशन ऑन चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज पेंट वॉर्निश एंड इंसुलेटर इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यू कैन सी हियर दैट चैप्टर सिक्स टाइटल्स यू कैन सी हियर क्लियरली डेफिनेशन ऑफ द पेंट वॉर्निश purpose of the paint characteristics of good paint constituents of paint function of each paint constituents difference between paint and varnish insulator and its types characteristics of good insulator properties and uses of insulator this all things we will be discussing in today's chapter number 6 this chapter 6 is present in GTU diploma syllabus paint varnish and insulator is the title of the chapter that is covered in applied science 2 chemistry book let us try to move ahead with the titles you have the first we all use the paint as a most you can say the important part of today's life is our paint what is this paint it is a mechanical dispersion mixture of one or more pigments in vehicle we'll be also looking what is this vehicle but one has to remember that paint is not a single word that can be described in a very single sense but paint is basically composed of a different chemical components okay so it can be one or more pigments that are dissolved in the vehicle that is our drying oil now let us try to understand what is this vehicle vehicle is a liquid consisting of non volatile film forming material drying oil and highly volatile solvent called thinner okay so you all are aware that paint is basically comprising of a thinner that is you can say a solvent basically that is present and depending on the property the solvent is going to vary so what is this vehicle it is a liquid that consist of non volatile film forming material that is drying oil and highly volatile solvent so this it is a combination of volatile and non volatile things okay that is your drying oil and solvent you can see here very clearly now when you define vehicle then only you can define paint so now you can say paint is mechanical dispersion mixture of one or more pigments in vehicle okay so now let us try to move ahead why what is the need of using paint why do we want to use the paints in daily life it is one of the very much popular thing like polymers so why we are using paints in day to day life what is the reason behind that that let us try to take a look on it the paint basically protects surface like iron and wood from wear and tear okay so it is basically going to provide protection to the surface on which it is applied paint protects surface from insects moisture and fungus you all are aware of all these things paint prevents corrosion of the surface at the same time paint reflects heat and light we all always go for doing the white paint in the summer why it is so because it has a ability to reflect heat and light paint gives good appearance to the surface that is very important okay so we all are using paints but we should also keep ourselves aware what is the role of the paints in our life we can say it is going to protect the surface on which it is applied it is going to protect the surface from wear and tear also it is going to protect the surface from the insects moisture and fungus paint can prevent corrosion paint basically reflects light and heat paint gives good appearance to the surface so it is doing all the multi purpose work in a one try okay so now what are the constituents of the paint paint is comprised of the following contents that is you can say pigments vehicle or now you can say drying oil then you can say thinners that are very important constituent of the paint then we have dryers we have fillers 
we have plasticizers each component is going to play a very special role we'll be describing the function and you can say the what is the role of the each pigment in the paint let us try to look for the first that is what is pigment now pigment you can say it is a solid substance which forms paint when mixed with drying oil now see you can understand we have a drying oil okay when you are adding certain solid substances to that basically they are chemicals then what happens the paint is going to get formed so these pigments can be basically you can say the substances that are added to the drying oil in order to form the paint this pigment basically can be classified into two categories one is white pigment okay now what is the white pigment you all are aware that you have seen white paints now what in that white pigments are there you can see here white pigments are basically improving covering capacity of paint and protect paint film from sunlight effect okay so what happens it helps this white pigments are very useful for paint to cover large surface area okay so it is improving the covering capacity of the paint and also it is protecting the paint film from the sunlight okay they reduce cost of the paint that is also a important role this white pigments are playing in the paint example of the white pigments that are added to the paint are white lead then we have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide these all are the example of the white pigments that are added now coming to the colored pigment just like colored glasses pigment we have different compounds that are added to give colors to the paint okay so you can see here this colored pigments are basically going to give different colors to the oil paints for example if you want red color paint then you take the salts of the iron oxide if you want green color in the paint then you are adding the salts of chromium oxide if you want blue color paint then we have the cobalt salts coming to the pigments then if you have a black color paint then we have graphite and carbon blank acting as a colored pigment okay for imparting different colors to the paint coming to the next point that is what are the roles of this pigment that is the function why these pigments are very important we have seen the types that is colored pigment and then we have seen white pigment okay now we will be describing in the detail what is the role why these pigments are important in the paint what is the function of this pigment in the paint the first point that is coming out is it gives strength to paint film okay that is very important it means what whatever film that is formed after drying of the paint that is that strength basically depends on the quality of the pigment used okay so pigment role is giving the strength to the paint film then we have it protects paint film from uv rays you know ultraviolet radiations are very harmful so this paint film is going to get protected from uv radiation because of this pigments now this pigments also improves the appearance of paint how it is going to improve appearance that depends on the color that you want to choose for that particular paint okay depending on that color pigments and white pigments are added then we have this pigments protects paint film from moisture that we have to see that pigments are providing protection of the paint film from moisture and weather conditions so it increases the weather resistance then we have pigments provide opacity and color to the paint film this is very important it means whatever color and whatever opacity 
is provided to the paint film that totally depends on quality of the pigment that is added okay so we can describe that pigment is going to give good strength to paint film it protects the paint film from uv rays it improves the appearance of paint it protects paint film from moisture it increases weather resistance it provides opacity and color to the paint film this is the role of the pigment in the paint looking to the characteristics of the good pigment if you see here a good pigment basically should be opaque it should be chemically inert means no chemical reaction should occur if it is a good pigment then it should be non toxic it means it should not be poisonous the good pigment should also be cheap and should be ready to mix or easy to mix with the oil this one has to remember coming to the another important component that is thinner or solvent this thinner and solvent play very important role in the paint this thinner or the solvent are volatile liquid substances which evaporate easily on application of paint it means when you apply paint on the surface then what happens this thinner or solvent is going to get evaporated and the final solid form is going to stay on the surface okay now for this thinner or the solvent basically aliphatic hydrocarbons or aromatic hydrocarbons play very important role coming to the function of the thinner or solvent this thinner help very much to dissolve film forming materials what are film forming materials you can say the components that are added in order to improve the paint film quality these are your film forming materials so thinner or the your solvent is very much useful to dissolve this film forming materials also this thinner suspend the pigments in paint so that is again very important this thinner also reduce viscosity of the paint it is very important to control viscosity of the paint because if the viscosity of the paint is very high then it is very difficult to apply paint on the surface hence if the viscosity of the paint is very low then what will happen it will not be able to stick to the surface so we have to control the viscosity of the paint whenever we are applying it on any surface now this thinner helps in drying of the oil film so it means whatever paint film you are applying okay how much time it takes to dry that all that depends on the type of the thinner chosen and type of the solvent viscosity also because it plays major role if the solvent viscosity is very high then what happens the paint film will not get dry easily it will take long time to get dry so this is important coming to the next what are the dryers dryers are the important components that are added in the paint that is what is the role of this dryer they are acting as a oxygen carrier catalyst very important one that dryers are basically oxygen carrier catalyst they accelerate drying of oil film through oxidation condensation and polymerization reactions now see dryers are but obvious that they are helping paint to get dry easily okay but how this drying process is accelerated by the help of the three reactions that can be either oxidation it can be either con condensation or it can be either polymerization reaction that is very important that one has to remember now suppose if a high amount of dryer is added in paint then what happens it will cause the cracking of the paint film very quickly so we have to see the things that high amount of dryer should not be added into paint okay otherwise the cracking of the paint film will take very early salts of the cobalt manganese lead zinc are used as a dryer so these are the basically role of the dryers acting as a oxygen carrier catalyst they accelerate the drying of the film through oxidation condensation and polymerization reaction high amount of the dryer may result into cracking of the paint film and the salts are used 
below salts used as a dryers now what is the role of the dryer as you know acting as a oxygen carrier catalyst so but obvious that this dryers improve drying quality of the paints how quickly the paint is going to dry that depends on the type of the dryers that you are choosing to form the paint dryers act as a oxygen carrier catalyst they accelerate the drying of the paint another important component that is added to the paint is fillers and extenders fillers are basically inert materials which improve properties of the paint that is very important now see they are inert materials right they are just playing a role to get filled into the paint just to improve certain properties of the paint now for example you can see here very clearly whatever fillers are chosen are barium sulfate salt calcium sulfate talc asbestos silica chalk magnesium silicate etc these all are fillers or extensors that are used in the paint now what is the role of the fillers that means what is the function of the fillers these fillers increase durability of the paint what does this mean that means that the paint lifetime is going to increase because of the fillers added these fillers also reduce cost of the paint that is very important these fillers reduce cracking of paint film as we have seen that suppose more dryers are added then what will happen cracking of the paint film will take place but in order to reduce the effect of the dryers fillers are going to compensate the effect so these fillers are basically going to reduce cracking of the paint film this filler act as a carrier for pigment color okay so that is very important we have seen the pigments added are basically colored pigment and we have white pigment so what happens this fillers are basic go basically going to carry this pigment okay and basically helping paint to improve the color quality so this pigments or you can say this fillers play very important role to give pigment color this fillers helps to fill voids in films it means what voids means the spaces okay so these fillers are also useful to fill those empty spaces in the films that is paint film now you can see here plasticizer so very important component of the paint that is added here you can see the role of the plasticizers this plasticizers prevent cracking of the paint film okay it is going to give elastic